How do you make a merge sort easy to understand? Well, we use the following approach. First, we explain it in simple language. Then we show an example. Then we show each stage when running the code by using print statements. Then we explain each part of the code, which is written in Python. To start with, we just use the simple assumption that it's easier to sort an array or a Python list if the two halves are already ordered. That means we can just go through each element of both sides and choose the next number. Now, with this approach, we could do that as well with both halves. So the first half, we can split that in half and sort it, and the second half, split that in half and sort it. So we essentially keep splitting each half in half. And when do we stop? Well, we stop when there's just one number in each half. This is the divide in the divide and conquer approach. Now, once we have these halves down to one number, then we just need to merge them, which is the conquer part. So that's why we call it the merge sort. So we merge each list or halves until we end up with our sorted list. Now there is a way of easy halving each half, and that's called recursion. And this is just using a function that can call itself until a certain end is reached. In this case, when each list only has one element, and that's called the base case. So let's see an example. We use the same list we've used in previous videos, and here we divide. So we divide in half, half again, until we have single element lists. Now we merge them. So the one and eight were together before, so they're already in order. So we put them together. Now with the seven, we get one, seven and eight. The two and three put in order. And with the four, we have two, three and four. And then we put them all in order. We have our ordered list. So help understand the merge sort. We've got the example code, which we'll explain after. But here, we're going to use our example of 718432 and use print statements inside the code. We can look at the left and right hand side and then we're going to look at the beginning and the end of the merged part. So let's run our code and let's have a look at our code, what it does and our print statements, the output to see the stages. So our numbers are split, so 718432, and then 718 is split in half again into 7 and 1 and 8, and 1 and 8 are split into 1 and 8. Now you can see now we want to merge our 1 and 8, which we do, which is in order, and then we've got our numbers with numbers 1, 8, and 7, so once they're merged, the 1 <laughs> and 8 and the 7 are merged to 1, 7, 8. Now the other side, remember we had 4, 3, 2 is split into 4 and 3 and 2, so the 3 and 2 are split into 3, 2, so we have 4, 3, and 2. So we can merge, so we've got the number 3, and 2, which put in order is 2 and 3. We've got our 4, so the 4 with the 2 and 3 becomes 2, 3, and 4. So now we have our 1, 7, and 8, and 2, 3, and 4, which if we take each part of them in order, we get to our ordered 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. So you can see here that we've split the left-hand side and merge the left hand side, split the right hand side, and then merge the right hand side, and then merge the left and right hand side. We start off looking at the code with the merge part, which is similar to what we've done before. So we've got two lists, we want to put them together. Now they're in order, so we just need to go through the left list called L, and we can use a pointer i to say where it's going from the beginning to the end. We can do the same with the right list 
using J. Now, if the number's lower in the left side, we put that in our array, and if it's lower in the right side, we put that in our array. And we do that using a while loop. So we can use an example with two lists on the left and the right, and we can pass those two lists to the merge function that we've got here. And when we run it, you can see we've got our ordered list. We can change our example and it still works. The issue is when one list is longer than the other, it doesn't work because our while loop only goes up to the end of the shortest list. But we can solve that by using while loop that continues for the remainder of the left hand list or the remainder of the right hand list. So if one list is longer, the new while loops will find that. So now when we run the program, you can see left or right, if one's longer, we still works. Here we have a list, but when we print the length, we can see the length is seven. Now, if we were to divide that by two, then we would get 3.5. But if we use the floor division, and now divide it, we have three. So we can use that as a midpoint and we can slice our list into half using this point, using this midpoint. So we have the left side and the right side. And if we print them, you can see we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is how we're going to split our list. So we change our code. So we create the function merge sort and then we're going to call that and put the array, uh, we'll pass the array to the merge sort function. And then once we get our answer back, we can print that. Now in the merge sort function, we have to make sure we split the arrays until we have one element each. We use length of the array greater than one. And then we split into two halves and the recursion part, we call the merge sort function itself on the left hand side and the right hand side. So the L array and the right array or in Python, the list called L and the list called R. So we're calling that, we call in the same function, the merge sort function. So that's the recursion. Now we've completed the divide part, we can add our merge code to make the conquer part. So we copy and paste in our code and the only thing we need to change, we already have an existing array. So rather than append to an empty and new array, we can create a variable K, which will be the index of the place where we will add the numbers when we take them from the lists either L or R. So we just need to change them and then we have our code. We can use our original example and you can see we split the lists into half 718432 then 718. Essentially we split them all and then we add them all together and we get our ordered list. So here is the final code got anything from this video please give us a like if you haven't already subscribe